Um, I first saw War Horse probably about eight years ago when it was on in the West End. And I remember um, just thinking that it was an amazing spectacle. But the first time I saw the show, I went with school and I must have been 14, 15 at the time and I absolutely loved it. It was, it was, it was one of those shows that just was so captivating from the, from the word go. The first minute you saw the puppets, you kind of had a couple of seconds to adjust to it. And then from that moment on, they've been horses. And even now, even since like, even in rehearsals now, they've never been puppets for me since. They've always been horses, which is great. I can remember being in the show and, for, and seeing, uh, coming out on the very, very, very first show that I ever did. Uh, spoiler alert, but if anyone's seen the show, um, the entire company come out at the very, very beginning of the show and kind of make contact with the audience and uh, sort of say that they're going to be telling them the story. And I can remember the very first show I came out, the shutters flew out and I saw suddenly thousands of people in the audience. And <laughs> it was a bit scary. I saw it quite early on when it very first went to the New London. Um, and I sat really far back actually. It was wonderful to kind of get that perspective and I went with a couple of other friends and we had a really wonderful time. And then years later in its final week in London, my mum had never seen it and was desperate. So for her birthday, we queued up for day seats. And, um, and went to see it and we sat in the very front row and it was such a different experience and I mean it was just it was absolutely awesome you know it was being a part of something like that and watching something like that so close up was absolutely thrilling. My I remember my mother didn't want to go and see it because she she thought she'd get very upset about the horses but actually I knew my dad would like, love it so I did get them tickets and she oh, she was blown away by it as well. She did cry, of course, but yeah, it was it was nice. So it's, I'm glad they're going to come and see it again on her 90th birthday. So, yeah. <laughs> Actually, a really beautiful moment on the last UK tour, we took the show to South Africa, um, which is sort of the home of the puppets. All the puppets are made by Handspring in South Africa and Cape Town. Um, and a couple of shows that we did there, we did for the township children. So children that had never been to the theatre, had never experienced theatre, and um, that was just a mind-blowing show because they they weren't they didn't know the kind of the job of sitting in the dark and being quiet and then clapping at the end and all that sort of stuff. It was a really exciting experience for them and the actors, and they were booing and cheering and getting re like getting really emotional when the horses. The, I mean, it was absolutely brilliant. I was fascinated by the puppets, especially Baby Joey, which is kind of funny because now I play Baby Joey. Um, and just thinking how beautiful it was. And you notice the puppeteers, but then you forget about them completely. Um, and I was also really captivated by the goose. And our goose is pretty special in the show as well. And I, 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 I kind of, I love history as well. So the kind of, the history theme to it, you know, the First World War is, is something that really interests me. Um, and so I think when I first read the book and first saw the play, you know, that really stuck, stuck out to me as well. Um, relationship with horses, but also the, the, the period it was set and what it was trying to say about that period. It's great that it's lasted this long. <laughs> um, I don't think anyone was aware of how the public was going to kind of grab hold of it as much as they have.